There are many stories of miraculous healing in the gospel. In fact, if we read in closely the text, we discover that Jesus attracted more people when he was healing people than when he was teaching and preaching. In the gospel, according to Mark, uh, there's no surprise to find um, just after he called his first disciple, the beginning of many stories of healing, uh, even before the end of the first chapter. The story that caught my attention for, for today is the story of the healing of Peter's mother-in-law. And it's, some would say, a classical story of healing. We have a nam nameless person, a woman, with a fever and Jesus goes to her. Jesus does not ask any statement of faith or any credential, no. He just took her by her hand and lifted up. And she immediately begins to serve the people in her house. That last part, uh, you don't need to be a feminist theologian or to have written a, a long essay on the Me Too movement to find this uh, details a little um, awkward to be polite. Okay, that's that's a bit disturbing. Uh, was she? Because we asked the question: Was she ill to be brought back into some sort of? servitude um, that's that's a very difficult question and to try to explore this if we set aside uh, the role of women in ancient Palestine or in today's world the story trying to explain that Jesus is the one that bring people uh, back to normal I would say to back to who they are, to who they are called to be. Um, because we know, without playing with words and doing a lot of semantic, we know there's a difference between being cured and being healed. And sometimes for many different reasons, good or bad, we stop being ourselves. Or the best, the best version of ourselves. We stop following our beliefs. We stop living by our values, and we might be aware or not. But somewhere in our mind and our soul, we know that it's not right. We don't feel weight. We're not at our best. And sometimes we need someone to touch us physically or figuratively to wake us up to help us to stand to bring back to bring us back to ourselves and that's what Jesus trying to do here that's what the gospel trying to teach us about Jesus we we don't know and we will never know if Peter's mothers and love is our calling was to be at the service of others like many disciples and saints have done in the past this is a call sometimes for some Christian to be at the service not necessarily being servitude or slave but being at the service we'll never know if it was our calling but because of Jesus she was back on her feet and she was able to resume our existence and she was able to follow her own path maybe more than the cure of a fever maybe this is where the true miracle happened someone restored someone back someone now being able to make her own choice without limitation she had previously and that's another part of what Jesus message offer us 
to wake us up to try to heal this maybe discomfort we have be inside us and say you know what beside all of the things around you you can stand you can make your decision you can be who you are and called to be that's it for today I remain Reverend Stéphane Vermet, the lectionary man and until next time take care of yourself talk to you soon bye bye